Hello, I'm drinking Ultraviolet from Tilted Barn. So Tilted Barn has been making this an IPA called Violet for years. I think it is called like their favorite American hops or something. They don't say exactly which ones they are. And then Ultraviolet, they don't they don't call it DDH. They say it's just beyond violet. When we developed the original recipe, we didn't think there was anything beyond what we could do for this beer, but um, it just takes it up a notch. It's 7% alcohol, so it's not like it's a double violet or double IPA. I think regular violet is that strength, I'm not sure. And it was canned a little over a month ago, or I guess a month and a week ago about. This is the July 23rd canning. I'm drinking it on August 31st. And I've actually already had three cans of these. And I thought, oh, it's a somewhat obscure beer. They don't make very much. Um, but it was, did, did get some distro. Um, but I thought it was good enough to do a review. Here you go. And I'm get, smelling it already. Yeah, Tilted Barn, they make very clean, dry, and like bitter, hazy IPAs. Different from what most people are doing in New England these days. Um, especially, I guess, across the, the country. Um, but I found with their beers, if you let them sit a little bit, they might lose a little bit of that extra harsh in your face bitterness it's not necessarily throat burn chalky stuff um it's just the way that tilted bar makes their beers they tend to be um they boil more hops or something and, and they also heavily dry hop them it's not just like bitterness coming only from dry hopping and polyphenols and that stuff so there you go it's it's lost a little bit of haze after over a month in the can Head looks really nice. It's sticking around a while. Color is really nice. I'm just, I'm, don't even need to bring this to my nose and I'm smelling it already. <sighs> yeah, that smells really good. <sighs> yeah, Tilt the Barn is probably one of the only breweries where I would say if you buy the beer and it's a little bit much, it's a little bit too bitter, a little too intense on the palate, leave it in your fridge for a few weeks. Maybe it'll get better. Most breweries, it doesn't get better, um, or it just mellows out and you lose the qualities that you liked about it, or you might lose a lot of the haze and then you lose all, yeah, lots of those qualities, but with Tilted Barn, not that way. And I'm getting a little bit of purple drank, which I think is a combination of certain American hops and yeast, like smells a little bit like Sip of Sunshine sweet orange and sweet sort of orange blossom honey but then when you really inhale definitely pineapple tropical stuff happening stone fruits and the yeah the, the really earthy bitter quality that I got from this when it was really fresh um, is kind of fading but and it's really it's more um, just fruitiness. Smells great. Hmm. Yep, that's good. Yeah, interesting how it's. It almost seems more like a really old Lawson's beers, like when you would be able to come upon a Lawson's bomber a long time ago. It would be hazier than most Lawson stuff, but also be bitter, but also be really fruity and intense, and that's how this one is. Now, there's definitely a, uh, a little bit of a fruit cup sweetness, maybe that wasn't as noticeable when it was really fresh, like canned pineapple and grape tidbits, like an ambrosia salad, which it's like a salad where you have a bunch of different fruits, mandarin oranges, maybe cut up grapes, pineapples, and then marshmallows. Um, not, not, not really marshmallows or anything. And there's def definitely some lingering grapefruity bitterness drying out my tongue. 
So let's see if I can get a little bit of more haze maybe in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. For a second, it seems like it's going to be a little too sweet, but then they, they definitely bring up um, some nice minerally, uh, I don't want to say salty water, but well-treated water, not too much though, and uh, some bitterness, <clears throat> some slight, some boiled hot bitterness, probably not much, um, but it's in there. It's not nearly as bitter as like Alchemist, I would say. But there's no throat burn. There's no overly chalky hop sort of situation. And it's still, it's still nearly opaque. Hmm. I haven't been throwing out a lot of descriptors. I guess I have. It's pretty complex. Just it has the citrus. It has berry fruity sort of yeasty stuff has um some of the tropical stuff at first then it turns a little bit more dry bitter citrus but it's bright um the f there, there's a substantial feel not super thick it isn't perfectly velvety soft i guess not necessarily um, but it's juicy but it's bitter juicy and now I'm getting some more earthy, dank stuff, edging towards incensey. But I mean, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got this one. Really cool. They shipped it out. This is definitely the first time they shipped this around Boston. I, I assume. Um, I don't, I, and I assume they brewed it before, but I don't really know. So there you go. Ultraviolet. This is a. Four and a half plus beer, very, very good IPA. I guess I should be doing it like this. <laughs> Whatever, bye.